Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Rekach, Kodash, the Mornest, the Apostles, and the Elders, the Great Millstone, and the Sincere Shalom to the Akim that's out there pushing the sincerity and truth and the sound doctrine. First and foremost, I want to say to Wadi Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, for giving me and the fellow Akim the opportunity to do these lessons, these videos, the opportunity to go out there on the highways and on the hedges, all to edify one of the nations of Israel, which are the so called Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Americans, uh, the 12 tribes of Israel, the ones that lost statutes and commandments, as well as the promises were given to. All right, Shalom. This is going to be a, another, you know, quick, quick video. <clears throat> Once again, you know, most of my videos come from videos I've, I've seen, I see by brothers or sent or, or sent by brothers or articles that I that I come across here and there. But you know, most of the articles that I that I mean, most of the video videos that I do are articles sent by brothers. You know, um, so this is yet another one sent by a brother. I'm not going to really go too much into it because you know. This is one of those articles that, you know, it really isn't much to say. You know, a lot of these articles that, you know, in this year 2021, man, you know, a lot of this stuff it really isn't much to say, you know, when it comes to our people, when it comes to the, the system, Esau, Edom, or anything, man, it's really not much to say anymore, you know, but it's, it's still our job to go out, you know, be out here to put a message out there. If you ask questions, it's, you know, it's our job to you know uh, answer all things unless it's you know really really out of this world and it's like not even worth answering you know some some stupid shit you know but <clears throat> you know um our job is to prove all things and we prove all things according to the scriptures right so now anyway back to this you know it's once again man it's not really much to say about this rapper shot as many as 64 times as he walked out of chicago jail you know you know, you got our people, you know, that want to live here, you know, um, and, and continue to want to flourish here. And it's, you know, you, it, day by day, second by second, so like it, man, second, second by second, man. You know, the Lord is, 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 you know, keeps proving of why we can, why this is not our rest. Why Juneteenth, you know, doesn't really exist. Why Fourth of July doesn't exist. Why on these holidays really is this because they don't do anything for our people man they do not do anything for our people you know our people are still getting shot up by each other you know and who's the head of this the one that's the very one that's over us man it's all eat them is 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 the very one that's over you know that's that is the head of this man laughing at us and you people our people sitting up there uh, you know lighting up fireworks thinking that they thinking that they're out of slavery man and it's not the case you you you're in deeper slavery than you ever were before, man. You know if you really think about it, cause it's stupid ass social media, right? You know, but going into the title of this video, going into the title of this video, where where in the world is BLM for this, man? Where is BLM for this? And I might even get flagged for this because you know they they they're flagging videos for even saying stuff like that now, you know. But where the hell is where where is BLM for this stuff, man? You know, uh, you know, I, I I never see any, I never see any bit BLM here in Baltimore, man. That should be a BLM march every single day. If you were really serious about it, if you were really serious about black lives, so-called black lives, and you were serious about the, the killings of, of, of our black men, you know, then, then in, in some women, you know, but mainly the black man, because the black man is really the one out there shooting each other and getting killed by the cops as well. You know, we're the ones getting, getting killed, man. You know, yet BLM has managed to take that and turn it into sodomy. You know, has man managed to take that into, you know, up uplifting the, the woman when we're the ones getting killed, man. You know, but we know who is the head of that once again, man. And if I feel, I feel like if I say his name, I'll get flagged for it. And that, you know what? That's fine, man. You know? And that's fine. It's up to Lord Yahweh by Shmuel Shah whether my videos get flagged or not, man. I got a video taken down a couple days ago. Didn't say a damn thing wrong, man. You know? But whatever, man. Everything we say is wrong according to the society because we're living in a very uh, 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 wicked society. But, you know, where where is BLM posting this guy's picture, you know, uh, uh and, and you know, asking asking for justice, man. This guy literally just walked out of jail and got sixty four t shot sixty four times, man. You know, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. <laughs> but 
it's the judgment of the Lord. It's, there's so many things you can say about this, but like I said, it really goes back to, look, man, it's just the judgment of the Most High. I don't know if this guy lived or not. I mean, he got shot 64 times, but you never know, man. You could, you know, you, you could live from that stuff. You know, if the Lord really sees, you know, if the Lord don't want you to live, then he'll have you live. You'd just probably be messed up the rest of your damn life. But, um, you know, this is this is just the judgment of the, of the Most High. But like I said, my, uh, my question is, where is BLM for this stuff, man? You know, where is BLM? Okay, so let me get, um, this is what we tell you so-called Black Latinos and Native Americans to do, man. Or you won't be left out there. You won't be left out there. Everything that we've been saying that that, that was going to happen, you know, and, and my and he's a rapper too, man. These rappers have been, been been getting getting dealt with left and right, man. Right? It's um book of Zephaniah chapter two verse three. Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh by Shmuel Shai, all ye meek of the earth. See, then this is what he, what this is talking about, man. The meek of the earth. And this is talking about to the Israelites as well. Uh, you know, it's talking about the Israelites. The meek Israelites. This is this is proving that this is only talking about is uh the the elect of Israel, man. This ain't talking about every black man, woman, and child, man. It said the meek of Israel. Why didn't they say all Israel seek the seek seek the Lord, man? And that's what we tell all Israel to do, but all we know all Israel ain't gonna get it because we don't know who the elect is. So it's our job to go out there on the highways and on the hedges and uh that use this platform to get this word worldwide, man. And it's it, it's it's worked. The Lord has made it work. <laughs> it's worked. And there are camps all over the world, man. Millions all over the world, man. You know? There's this, you know, it's like a thousand, you know, it's about hundreds, hundreds, thousands of camps all around the world, man. You know, you got some camps you probably never even heard of, man. Right? And this is what we tell you so-called black Latinos and Native Americans to do. Seek the Lord. Seek the Lord because without the Lord, you look you know what you're doing, man. You know, you you gonna get shot 64 times or you out there shooting people 64 times, man. You lost. You're lost. You know, you out there talk about Baltimore stand up and you living in a damn hood, man. You know, we all living in the form of a hood, you know, but you living in a damn hood. You up here promoting, promoting street, street gang, street violence, whatever, man. You up here promoting that shit. Knowing that nothing good comes out of that, man. It makes you tough. It makes you tough. No, no. It, 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 the streets don't make you tough, man. It, 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 what makes you tough is how you handle that shit. You don't have to be from the streets to be, to be this so-called tough guy, man. I know bitch-ass niggas from the streets, man. That, that, been, that been in the streets and they, they act like pure, pure deep bitch-ass niggas, man. You know? So, no. But that's, this is what the world promotes, man. You want to know the manliest, toughest thing you could do in this society right now? This truth. You want to know what makes this th this thing so tough? You're, we are risking our lives. We're risking our freedom. We're risking every goddamn thing, man. That's that's in this that's in this place. We're risking our households. You know they're gonna come after after us. You know, that's what makes this thing so much more tougher than any anything you could probably do in this society, man. You know. Yeah, it's good to know some, it's good to learn some manly, you know, labor or whatever. But the manliest thing, you know, which is why a lot of Jake can't handle it. You know, the manliest thing is this truth. This truth, you hear things that you, that it's just out of this, you know, it's out of this world. Because it's like, literally, <laughs> literally out of this world. Because it's like, what the hell? I've never heard of nothing like that. When you talk about male dominance. You know, and I'm not talking about male dominance according to this according, according to this society where they picture a man beating a woman and all that. No, that's not what that is. Right? We talk about true male, we talk about actual male dominance. You know, when a man is in power and when everybody knows their job and nobody nobody in the household has to say, Well, hey, look, I'm in power, you the weaker vessel, and this, this, that, whatever. No. That, I mean that that's the real male male, you know. That's the real orderly, orderly household, man. And this is what we promote. But this world upholds wickedness. And without the Lord, going back to the scripture, without the Lord, you're lost. This is how we know that the Bible is, in fact, our book. Because without, look at us without, without these scriptures, man. Look at us. We all messed up. You know? 
That's how we know this is our book. Esau, Edom, they in power. This ain't their book. Right? So it says, Seek ye the Lord, seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment, seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye, right? It may be ye, you shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. I don't know about y'all, man. I don't know about y'all, man, but, you know, me personally, I want to be hid <laughs> in the day of the Lord's anger. You know, I want to be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. You want to be hidden from the Lord's anger. You don't want to be, you don't want to be in the Lord's sight when he, when, when he unleashes hell, man. You want to be, you want to be safe, man. Yeah, I mean, you want to be in the Lord's sight, but you want to be on his good, on his good side. That's what I meant to say. Right. You want to be hidden from that, from his wrath, man. You know, see, people think, people think, you know, uh, they, they seem bad. I'm sure, I'm sure, you know, a lot of people have, especially older people, you know, they've they seen some things, they've been around the block, but none of us have, have seen what, what the hell is getting ready to come on this place. Even right now, man, we're in a time like no other. I asked, I asked certain older people, man, is, is, is this, you know, has this, any of this happened, you know, in a time of your, of, of your lifetime? Has it, has it been this bad? Has it, has this world been this bad in the time of your lifetime, you know, in, in, in your, in your lifetime? And it would say, especially, you know, elders, you know, elders in the truth, they would, you know, definitely say like, it's no new thing under the sun. It's, you know, it's all pretty much the same. It's just much worse, you know? So as of right now, since the world has been created, you really think about it, the scriptures say that, man, since, since the very creation of the earth, we're in a time like no other, man. Do you know how deep that is? That's crazy, man. It has never been this bad, man. It has never been this bad. I'm sure it got pretty bad in the, in, in the, um, the, past, the past empires, I'm sure. I'm sure it got pretty bad. But the Lord said, this place, since this is every wicked ass empire mixed in one, that right there is is never been has never been seen before. That every wicked empire mixed bund bundled in one. That's like a time like no other, man. Since the very creation of the earth, do you know how deep that is? And it's gonna get even worse. And if you don't seek the Lord, your how about shit me out with shy? You gonna be left out there. Let's go for me too, man. Still out here. <clears throat> Let's go for me too. All right? <laughs> you better keep pushing. <laughs> yeah, keep pushing. Sometimes, you know, sometimes, you know, you may get weak. We we in a world full of unrighteousness and infirmities, as Second Urges chapter four, verse twenty seven said, man. You know, so you won't get weak. So that's the Lord reminding you, like, look, man, you keep keep you better keep you better kick yourself up. You better pick yourself right back up. But this is why the Lord said one thing, man. Dude, absolutely do not pray for these people. You cannot pray for these people, man. You cannot pray for our people. You know, they don't want to get it. They don't want to get it. So, you know, when we talk about, you know, the the, the so-called the feminist movement and all that, man. You know, and we tell we tell Jake about that. They want to continue to defend, defend the woman instead of defending themselves more than they defend themselves. It's like, okay, man, when your woman start cheating on you and messing around on you, then don't, you know, don't say nothing, you know, just don't, don't say nothing. Or just, just know that we told you so, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to believe us about the, about the death, famine and destruction coming upon this place, man. That's fine. That's fine. You want to keep calling yourself black, African American and all that bullshit. Look, that's fine. Go ahead and do what you got to do. Just keep it moving. Don't talk to us, man. Keep it moving. Or well, if you do, it's better just don't don't talk to us about that 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 you know that. You better keep it on on another level because you won't get your feelings hurt. There's gonna be a lot of sad faces in that day, man. The book of Jeremiah, chapter eleven, verse verse eleven. Now this is a really really good chapter that I like going into a lot of times. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shemuel shall behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken, right? Because 
and that day, man, it's gonna be a lot of people trying to cry, try to cry to the most high, man. You know, when it when it's gonna be too late. When they start seeing tanks rolling down their neighborhood, man, that's when they want to try to call on the name of the Lord. It's gonna be way too late for that, man. You know, that's like that's like that's like usury. You only need them. You only want to pray to them when you really, 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 really need them. When you don't realize that you always need them, and even when you don't feel like you need them, you always need them. You gotta think about it, man. As, as I'm doing this video right here, man, as I'm doing this video right now, the Lord could cause me to have a heart attack right now. The Lord could cause the Lord could cause this phone to explode in my hand, man. Take my hand off, and I ain't got no hand the rest of my life. You don't you don't realize that, man. That's what Jake don't realize, and that's what we tell them. That's what we put the message out there that you always need the Lord. Yeah, how about Shimmy I was shy. You walk down the stairs. You slip and you fall, or you, you know, you get out of your bed, you slip, you fall, you bust something, man. You can, you can be paralyzed the rest of your damn life, man. The Lord can literally have you make, make you have a stroke. He can make you have a stroke. And you, your, your whole one side of your body be paralyzed, man. You know? A lot of people don't take that into consideration, and that's why this, this scripture is here, man. Right? So they say I'm gonna bring evil upon them, and then they're gonna cry to me. But they said they, he said they, and they, but he said I will not hearken unto them, man. The Lord ain't hearing you in the, in the time of your trouble, man, because you should have prayed to Him. You should have did what He said. You should have, you should have followed the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. Instead, you wanted to do whatever it is you wanted to do. Right? Verse 12. It says, "Then shall the cities of Judah and and the inhabitants." Of Jerusalem go and cry unto the gods uh, to whom they offer incense, right? So that's when y'all going, when y'all realize that, <laughs> you know, the, the Lord ain't hearing you. You want to try to go go to Esau, Edom, man. And Esau, what would it say? It said, but they shall not uh, save them at all in the time of their trouble, right? Because who is the only one that could del deliver you in that time, man? Only Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, can deliver you in those times. Esau, Edom, they're going to be completely against you, Jake. They're going to be completely against you. They really going to start showing their horns, man. Right? All you people thought this this stuff was a game. They really going to start showing their horns, man. And you were really going to realize, oh, shit. There's, there's nobody to comfort me. <laughs> the scriptures say that. There's nobody, nobody going to be able to comfort me. Because you didn't want to follow, you didn't want to follow the, the Most High, man. Right? You didn't want to follow the Most High. A lot of you Jakes want one of them, one of them gods that people that you Jakes worship is that damn gun, man, the sword. And you gonna find out real soon that them guns ain't gonna save you. You know that's one of the things all you, you that's that's a god, that's a higher power that you people that you Jakes worship. That gun, the modern day sword. But like I said, man, y'all gonna find out that them guns are not gonna save you. Guns and money ain't gonna mean shit, man. You know? So you shoot a nigga and that's that's the end of your problems? You know? You see what I'm saying? So uh the uh, verse 13 it says, For according to the number of thy cities were thy gods, all these different philosophies, all these different gods. This is going towards you other Israelite camps too, man. You know, ISPK over here talking about there's something bigger than bigger than God, the most high. You know? Then we know the situation with, with them guys at Sakari. We know the situation with them. We know the situation with IUIC. We know the situation with GOCC, the, uh, uh, HOY, you know, uh, uh, Martyrs of Yahweh, what was it, Martyrs of Yahweh, something like that, man. You know? We know, the, we, know the, we know the situation with them. So this is talking about you too, man. Not just talking about the average two-third out there. It's talking about them, but it's talking about mainly you, man. The worst type of two-thirds is the one that picks up the Bible, man, and try to use the scriptures to justify wickedness. Well, you might as well just go go be one of these one of these blunt smoking niggas out there, man. Where they don't got no excuse. They just say, hey, I just want to do it. That's better than that's better than picking up the Bible, man. And try to try to use an excuse for smoking weed, man. Right? That's much better than that. Okay, it says, and according to the number of the streets of Jerusalem. Have ye set up, have ye set up altars to that shameful thing, even altars to 
burnt incense into Baal. And Baal is another god that they worship, man. And still is to this day, man. Right? Verse uh, 14, it says, Therefore pray not thou for this people. That's why this scripture is this, man. Because you cannot pray for these people, man. You telling me I'm going to pray for, for, for guys like this, man? You know? Or 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 guys that did the, the the guys that did that to him to him man, shot him sixty four times. You telling me I'm gonna pray for guys like that? You gonna tell me I'm gonna pray for a guy that threw a brick window in the back of my car? Right, ripped the seats out and took every fucking thing. You telling me I'm gonna pray for a guy like that? Right? Is, is, that, is that what you is that what you saying? I'm gonna pray for a guy like that. You gonna tell me I'm praying for I'm gonna pray for Black Lives Matter when they just full of shit man? You know. That's set up by our enemies, mind you. When the scriptures tell you don't pray for your enemies, that's talk about two-thirds of our people as well, man. Do not pray for our enemies, man. Right? That's why I said don't pray for these people. Don't trust your enemy. That Don't trust your enemies, like I said, that's talked about two-thirds of our people, man. Right? It says, neither lift up a cry or... Let me start over. Ver Jeremiah 11, ch uh, Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 14. It says, therefore pray not thou for this people. Neither lift up a cry or prayer for them. For I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. Everybody, all you jakes are going to a degree. What happens when, what happens when, uh, you know, when, when something happens? The first thing that come out of everybody's mouth, I'm talking about everybody. I ain't talking about just Israel. I'm talking about everybody. Oh my God. In, complete, in different languages and, you know, different ways. Whenever something happens, the first thing, atheists, atheists say the same thing all the time, man. When something happens, oh my God, that's the first thing everybody says. When you say, oh my God, you're crying, you're crying unto the most high, right? This is why I will not hear them in the time that they cry to me for their trouble. No, the Lord ain't hearing you. You could cry on, you could cry on God, you could cry on Jesus, you could cry on Allah, you can cry on whoever, whoever it is, your, 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 your Hua, your Howard, uh, so like your, your Hua, uh, um, Jehovah, that's what I meant to say, Jehovah, uh, man, whatever, Yah, you can pray on Yah, <laughs> uh, and whoever, man, you know, but if you're not following the Lord says his commandments to the best of your ability, and you're not, you're not doing what the Lord says, then what good are you to the most high? You're just a walking piece of flesh. I mean, you know, everybody has their uses. That's why that's why certain people are walking around. Because if you didn't have a use here, then you you would be gone. Right? You wouldn't even be here. But everybody has a use. Esau Edom has a use. He's useful. The Lord uses whoever, man. For for his for his desire. Okay? So on that, man. But whether this lesson was edifying, shall I walk.